Hello there my fellow gamers, this is the all new Helios 16 from Asus Predator Gaming Lineup. And if you are in the market for a solid Full HD and QHD gaming notebook that is sensibly spec'd and does not compromise when it comes to its display, chest equality and port selection, this one might be the one to beat in 2023. And if this premise does not have you hooked already, they manage to keep temperatures in check and it even pushes some serious frames without getting you kicked out of your house because of your gaming laptop sounding like a jet engine. Taking on the likes of Lenovo's Legion Pro 5s or ASUS's Strix series, our Helios 16 comes equipped with Intel's 13700HX, an RTX 4060 running at up to 140 watts, 16 gigs of DDR5 system memory and a 1TB SSD. While some SKUs of the Helios 16 can be yours with a mini LED panel, ours has to make do with a standard IPS display in the ever so popular QHD Plus resolution and operating at 240Hz and it comes with G-Sync support. I already gave Acer credit for their new Helios chassis design when we did our hands-on for the bigger 18-inch brother a few months back. And yes folks, we are still waiting on a proper review sample for that one. The Helios follows the same overall design language and looks like an exact copy just in a smaller 16-inch variant. The base unit and display lid are made from that subtly blue-colored metal that looks clean and interesting at the same time while being relatively flex-resistant. And both the display frame and bottom panel are made from very sturdy plastic. Our only major point of criticism would be the hinge. While it keeps the display in place without too much wobble, it feels a little creaky in our sample. The Helios looks clean enough for a gaming machine with only subtle branding. For all you RGB lovers out there though, the extended rear exhaust can be customized, even though you yourself will hardly see it while using this puppy. Overall, Acer did a fine job with this one and put together a solid, premium feeling notebook. As some sort of gimmick, you can exchange the rear vent covers, which are held in place by magnets. In the box, you get the choice between grey and, well, a lighter grey. But I guess if you want to get adventurous and paint these in your favorite color, well, you've got the chance. In terms of ports, the 16-inch gamer can easily keep up with the Legion Pro 5 with a network jack, USB-A 3.1, a micro SD card reader and a headphone jack on the left, while the right-hand side of the chassis is home to another pair of USB-A 3.2s. On the back you get your power connector, HDMI 2.1, a Thunderbolt 4 USB-C and a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2. Wireless transfer speeds are a very good average throughout our testing and even the 1080p webcam can hold its own amongst the plethora of really, really bad sensors we had to deal with this year already. The overall good impression continues in the maintenance department and the Helios offers easy access to a pair of SODEMs, two NVMe slots and the Wi-Fi card. While our review sample might omit the mini-LED display, Acer actually put the very same tag in their RGB keyboard, which does make for some pretty smooth lighting transitions if you are into that sort of thing. Functionally, it's a solid keyboard with decent travel and a solid pressure point, even though it feels kind of soft when bottoming out. The layout is a bit of a mixed bag with regular sized arrow keys, but smaller secondary variants for the number pad and the shift keys for example. The glass top touchpad worked like a charm during our review and offers a smooth surface with satisfying clicks. In the display department, the 16 incher might not come with a fancy mini LED or OLED, but other manufacturers should definitely take note nonetheless. The QHD Plus panel refreshing at 240Hz is a prime example of a great all-around gaming panel that easily edges out the competition. Almost 500 nits average brightness lets you enjoy your games even outdoors if that is something you are into. Color gamut coverage ventures into professional territory and the absence of mini LED tech makes PWM a non-issue. Sprinkle in some solid factory calibration and speedy response times and you got one of the best standard IPS 16 inch laptop panels on the market right now. My only gripe would be the missing display profiles for something like sRGB or the like. In typical Acer Predator fashion, the Helios 16 can be yours with a wide range of core components and our sample is basically the entry level. At the heart of it all, Intel's i7-13700HX brings the 16 incher up to speed. As the smallest, fast HX Raptor Lake chip, it comes with Intel's signature hybrid architecture with 8 performance and a total of 8 efficiency cores. While the i9 variants or AMD's flagship, the 7945HX, still offer a significant performance boost, the i7 provides a solid amount of CPU grunt across our testing and sits comfortably within the average of similar gaming machines. 
The same holds true for overall system performance and our PC mark benchmark results, aligned with our subjective impression. The 1TB SSD unfortunately cannot sustain its excellent initial transfer rates though, with read and write speeds dropping significantly under prolonged use. If you want to dive deeper into our testing with detailed measurements and scores across our entire benchmark suite, please head over to our written review. I have linked it somewhere up here and in the description below as well. As for the 4060, it's once more pretty much in the middle of all laptops, we have tested with Nvidia's lower mid-range mobile card this year already. While it is rated for up to 140 watts, you will never ever see that in anything else but synthetic workloads that specifically only target the graphics chip. In gaming loads, the Ada mobile card will sit around 100 watts, which is the same for almost all laptops coming with this chip, which also explains our numbers being this close together. Overall, the 4060 is very well positioned in Nvidia's 2023 lineup. While the 4080 is a lot faster, the 4070 is not that far off. And considering that you will save quite a bit of money with the smaller GPU, while also getting the same 8 gigs of video memory, well, the 4060 might be the more sensible choice. In our 1080p gaming rating, the Helios might not be able to secure any top spots, but again, all laptops with the same GPU and even some 4070 equipped notebooks are very close to each other. So you will definitely not have a bad time when hunting for frames in your favorite games. In something more recent and in higher resolutions, it really depends on the games you are playing. But you will definitely get your money's worth in FPS with the Helios 60. When it comes to fan noise, you might be quick to judge the Helios a little too harshly in its performance profiles, resulting in fan noise that is pretty much on par with the competition, meaning, well, it's loud. But when you give its balanced mode a try and realize that you barely lose any performance, if any at all, the Helios shows how it should be done. My colleague Marvin did this comparison, and yes, you do lose some performance when going from performance to balance but the much, much quieter fans make it well worth it in my opinion. As always, we put together some noise samples for you so you can make up your own mind. And if you want to get into the nitty gritty details of our detailed temperature testing, please head over to our website. Away from the wall, notebooks with AMD's refreshed Zen 3 Plus chips reign supreme when it comes to battery life. The Helios cannot quite keep up, but with 5.5 hours in our Wi-Fi standard test, it's doing alright, compared to similarly equipped notebooks, like Lenovo's Legion Pro 5 for example. Alright folks, let's wrap this up. The Helios 16 makes it relatively easy for us, it's basically a clear recommendation. It may not be perfect, but to be honest, let's face it, something like the perfect gaming notebook simply does not exist. But this one is a very, very solid compromise that doesn't have any shortcomings in areas that would severely affect your gaming experience. The chassis is not overly gamery and very well designed with a premium feel. The screen is amongst the best standard IPS panels you can get right now, I.O. is very generous and performance is right where it should be for the equipped core components. And with some well-tuned power levels and corresponding fan curves, you can enjoy your games without getting kicked out of the room by your loved ones. That shall be it for today from our end. If you liked our content, please leave your like and sub on your way out. If you cannot get enough, maybe check out some of our other videos or head over to our website for more reviews and news for all things tech. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex, you have been amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.